This video will demonstrate the Control and Automation API Try It Out interface. When you open the Automation API endpoint URL in a browser, it displays an HTML page which documents the API services. If you're new to Automation API or would like to see examples of how to call these functions, you can use the Try It Out feature. The service you always must call first is Session Login to get a session token. We will log in as the EM user. Press execute to run the service call. And below we can see the response. The code was 200, so it was OK. We see the session token we received here. Let's copy the session token. And now we must scroll to the top of the page and use the authorize button to save that session token. Here we need to type bearer and paste the session token and then click authorize. Now the page remembers this token and we'll send it in the HTTP headers for every request. So let's try a simple get request first, for example config slash servers. This request takes no parameters, so we can just try it out and execute. And we see the response 200 and this lists our Consulum services connected to this environment, which is only this one in this case. So now let's try to run some jobs. We'll collapse the config and go to the run service. Here we need to post to the service, so we'll try it out. Select a job definitions file. I've got one here that contains a flow of four jobs, so let's open and execute. Again it worked OK and we can see we returned a, a run ID and a status URI. Now I can't just simply copy this status URI and open it in a new tab because that tab wouldn't be sending my session token along with the request. I'm getting the unauthenticated request authorization header is missing response. So what I need to do is actually just copy the run ID and on this page go to the run status service. So let's find the run status. Here we go. Try it out. This takes a run ID which we just copied, paste, execute. And now we see the statuses of the four jobs that we end. This is the folder, one job, two job, three job, four job. They all ended OK. So let's say we want to see the output of this last job. Uh, again, we can't take the URI, but we should take the job ID, which is part of the URI here, and go to the run job output request. So let's collapse this one, find rob run job, job ID, output. There it is. Try it out, paste the job ID, and execute. And now here we can see the response body, and this is the job output, in this case a file transfer job that transferred the file. As you can see, this interface provides a quick and easy way to explore the Control-M Automation API REST services. That concludes this Control-M Automation API video. Visit jobsescode.io or github.com slash control-m for more examples like this.